All right, congrats. You've just been asked to manage the water polo desk. So here's what you need to know. Right now, if it's a varsity game, you're okay at seven minutes with a 30 second shot clock. If you are on a JV game, you need to change that seven minutes to six minutes. And here's how you do that. You go to game setups, default times, period times, all periods. Right down here on the keypad, six, zero, zero, hit enter. Three quits, quit, quit, quit. Good, and now you are ready to go. You wanna have your fingers on the start and reset button. So when the game starts, you wait for the sprinters to come together. And when one team gets a possession, you press the start button. Um, you wait till the referee blows the whistle. Uh, that's usually a regular foul. So let's say he blows the whistle, beep. You press stop. You wait for the player to put the ball in play. That's either throwing it up or passing it to another player uh, or dropping it and swimming with the ball. Then you press start again. You wait for the referee to blow the whistle uh, with another foul to stop the clock. And you, you can look at the referee too because the referee will signal that the ball is back in play. Once the player puts it back in play, go ahead and start the clock again. Now, let's say the ball gets stolen and it's a turnover. So you would just reset the shot clock once the other team gets the possession. Here, you would do the same thing again. One whistle, stop. Uh, uh, put the ball in play, start. Maybe there's another foul, stop. Put the ball in play, start. You're gonna do this over and over again. And let's say they go ahead and they realize they have no chance, so they dump the ball um, out in the corner. So you stop the clock, right? You reset the shot clock. You wait for the referee and the swimmer to swim to the dead ball, because this is interval time. Get the ball, put the ball in play, and then you start the clock again. That's when they dump the ball. Now, let's say after this, uh, one of the teams calls a timeout. So you go ahead and press start. You can hit here for starting a timeout for dark. Notice timeout is started. And you wait till uh, all, usually the coaches will use up all the timeouts. But if they don't and they want to start it again, you can come over here and just clear the timeout. And now it's gone and you're ready to start the game again. So when they set up, the referee blows a whistle, um, the person puts the ball in play, you start the clock. Notice nothing changed because they called the timeout. And let's say they shoot the ball and it was good. So that's the blue team. You add one score in here. You can enter a cap number if you like, but if you don't, uh, go ahead and just press enter for no cap number. Now, you need to reset because they scored a goal, we're blind up again in the middle. And when the referee blows the whistle to put the ball in play, you press start. And let's say this time the white team makes a shot, but it goes over uh, and gets tipped by the goalie, you press stop. And that's a two meter, um, a goal was made, so you hit reset. So now they have it on the two meter line. And then when they put the ball in play, you press start. Um, and again, you just listen for the whistle. You can stop the time, start the time. I mean, stop the time and then stop the time. And let's say, um, it was a turnover. You start the time, uh, they shoot and they miss. So go ahead and keep, um, stop the time cause they shot it, hit reset. When they get the ball, start it again. And then let's say from here, um, one of the team earns an ejection. So you go ahead and stop the clock. And blue team, say, got the ejected. So you can hit eject here to start the time here. Reset the shot clock. And then when they're ready, put the ball in play. There you go. And now you have your 20 second shot clock time uh, for the blue team. So make sure when the 20 seconds is done, you hold up the flag, the blue flag for the blue team to let them know the player can be substitute back in. Uh, and I don't have a cap number. It's looking for a cap number here. You can just press enter since you don't know it. Now the blue team, you put the flag back up and now it's even for about five seconds. They have time to shoot. Um, let's say they shoot, they miss and you wait um, till 
the goalie gets the ball and then you hit reset and here we go again so now let's say we are done with the period um, you just hit period one to move to break you press start and if you want to move to the second period you can stop the break and go to the next period and now you're in second period and you can start that all over again and when you're done um, if you want to change again if you want to edit the let's just here here's another example let's say you're starting the game and for whatever reason the ref asks you to change the game time because uh, you pressed an eject button and it wasn't work let's set the clock uh, back by three seconds so first we'll edit the game time and let's say they want five fifty five zero zero so three seconds back on the clock. Also, our shot clock has to change too by three seconds. So that'll be 25. So I click shot clock, edit here, 2500, enter. And so now everything's set up and we can go ahead and resume the game. So that's how you edit the time and the shot clock. And that is pretty much it. So I'm gonna stop this. And again, if you wanna shut down the machine, this is how you do it. You go to miscellaneous, shut down completely, say yes, and the machine is shut down.